Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I really needed a new candle. I got this Pomroy candle for $3.99. Uh, these resale on uh, eBay for $10. This is a nice candle. It's not horribly expensive, but it sure is better than the one I had. Uh, for some things, if you like nice candles, but you don't like to pay a lot, the uh, thrift store is great. Okay, this video is um, one month food storage, and I've changed it up a little after going to the food pantry. And then how I buy food, a little food by the week so I don't run short. Okay, so the first thing, and I got this great idea at the gym. You know, when you go around more healthy people, you start getting uh, healthy ideas. So, okay, I have a little um, cashew milk left. I need one cup. So, um, drinking, uh-oh, uh-oh, drinking one cup of, of plant milk, I mean, making about four cups. Oh, I'm spilling everything. Um, one cup, making four cups plant milk. Uh, okay, so I'm a little bit short. So today I made, uh, this is almond milk. So, um, so between, like, if I didn't have any uh, milk, any uh, cow milk, I think cashew milk is better, but almond milk is good when you're making it homemade. So I have one cup of milk, any kind of milk. And then if you have milk, you can make yogurt. This is my homemade yogurt. So um, probably tomorrow I'll make some homemade yogurt. Uh, this, this yogurt turned out good considering uh, I'm just going to use uh, three. Well, how much do I have here? Well, I'm going to use about three quarter cup. This is going to make a lot. And then uh, I need, okay, a half a frozen banana, which I have. And also, uh, at the gym, they told me, uh, how about frozen mangoes and frozen bananas? But I go, oh, so I, there's one slice and uh, probably about a half a banana. So what's good about these is, is your bananas won't go over ripe. And uh, if you have some, um, some mangoes from the cans left over, you can, uh, I also use dehydrated mangoes and then uh, three quarter cup yogurt. You can use a whole cup, but three quarters is fine. Uh, I made this yogurt. Alright, so all I have to do now is just blend it for a minute or two. For, okay, let me get this going. Let's see. Uh, if you are an ice cream uh, eater, this is a good way to get off ice cream. Uh, 
uh, this is a good way to get off expensive uh, fruit drinks that you can buy out. Now that is one of my better ones. And then I have two kinds of, of these uh, trail mix bars. Probably uh, with this, these nut bars would be best. Okay. These are a tiny bit expired, but they're still good for a while. So uh, I'm going to have a nice, this could be a breakfast. There was a little issue with the, um, what I usually do with these is I freeze them and then when they're frozen, I eat them like ice cream. This can be any fruit. It doesn't have to be frozen, but it's going to taste a little better if it's frozen. Okay, so I haven't done uh, like a stockpile for a month for a while since I've been at the uh, food pantry. So I thought, yeah, I think I'll do one. Okay, so what's going on right now? On some channels, they're calling it the calm before the storm. In other words, something is up. Something is going on. I'm looking for my tea. Wow, I didn't, I didn't save any tea? Wow. Well, I'll drink. Now, I can't believe I bought this uh, vitamin water raspberry dark chocolate. Sounds horrible, but it's actually pretty good. All right, calm before the storm. Otherwise, something horrible is about to happen. It's calm now, but pretty soon, forget it. Uh, and then other people are describing this time as these are the good old days. You think this, this inflation is bad? Just wait. Um, I kind of think both are maybe true. But if you stockpile food, that's going to help you more than anything. Okay, a large bag of cheese. Also, they're saying... Maybe stockpile up some pasta because of a looming wheat shortage. So I bought a cheese in the block. These are slices of cheese. And I also bought uh, a, a pretty large bag of cheese. What I do is I wait around until the cheese, I got this for about, I, I watch it when these bags, are on sale. I pick one up. I go to grocery outlet. I look around and if I see cheese, I pick one up. Uh, mainly think about the Oslo diet. It was good wheat bread, butter, cheese, uh, a glass of milk. It could be nut milk um, and a small uh, fruit and a small portion of vegetables. So, or macaroni and cheese, large bag of cheese. A bag of powdered milk. Okay, I would uh, get this good whole milk from uh, Walmart. This stuff is about $14, but if you don't have $14, just go to the food pantry. They're giving milk, or there's Dollar Tree for for uh, $1.25. I buy those a lot. In fact, I... I have one here. Have you guys seen these? 125. I usually buy 10 at a time. If you want to have milk. Uh, so when I went to the uh, food pantry, they gave us dairy and, uh, you know, cheese, milk, eggs. Okay, the next thing is, it's pretty inexpensive. So four weeks in a month, four cans of tuna. This is Walmart tuna. I find it to be pretty good. 
four cans of beans, but what is really better are these uh, bags of beans. And I like the beans like split peas or small beans, even uh, white beans or uh, small pinto beans because they cook faster. And then I started getting this. This is barley with uh, split peas. See, there's an assortment of, of peas and stuff. There's a recipe. I got these marked down, but I'm going to be looking for barley. Uh, with barley, you can also uh, grind that to flour. Okay, so a uh, large bag of cheese, powdered milk, four cans tuna, four cans of uh, four cans of beans, or you know these kind of beans. These are going to give you more food. Uh, okay, the next thing is two bags of peanuts because you can make peanut butter or um, peanut milk. So, or you can just eat peanuts. But these are uh, these are roasted peanuts. So take them out of the uh, peanut shell, and while the skin's on, roll them in between. Um, you know, you just get a, a dishcloth and you lay the peanuts out and you roll it up and you roll it around and the peels will come off. Put them in the blender and blend them until you have, it, it's practically going into the peanut butter and then add a tablespoon of oil. You're always going to have a peanut butter. Okay, uh, oatmeal, the big one. You have milk and you have oatmeal and you can also grind your uh, oatmeal into uh, flour to stretch your wheat if needs be. Or you can make cookies or crumbles or all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, one bag of rice. Okay, they're saying because of the geopolitics um, and also weather, uh, maybe be sure to stockpile up rice. So rice is really a good uh, thing to have uh, for all kinds of reasons. But the thing about rice is you can have a big pile of rice with your beans or your chili. Or you can make uh, like rice pudding or sticky rice. Uh, I like to make sticky rice. I just boil the rice until it's done and I boil all the water out. Then I mix sugar and um, and uh, coconut milk, about a quarter cup for a third cup oatmeal after it's cooked down. I pour that on top and then I top it with either uh, canned mangoes or these dehydrated mangoes that I bought in some. I'm looking for the kind of mixed nuts and a variety of fruits. And sometimes I could find them cheap but I also try to stockpile these. And then the sticky rice is very tasty with all kinds of fish. If you should have to eat fish or, you know, rice and sardines. So rice. Um, so what you're doing is you're getting a lot of food in the house that you can eat tomorrow that's low in cost so you don't run out of food somehow. Okay, one box of Top Ramen, or it depends. Uh, when we had the pandemic, the, the, you couldn't get these. So I, what I would suggest is buying a couple of boxes every now and then, that's what I do. Uh, the thing about those is you can add eggs to that. You can put an egg on that, you know, cook it, and then add the egg and microwave that for about a minute. Or you can add little pieces of meat and vegetables. And then a bag of raisins. And I bought this large bag of raisins today for $5.99. So I bought um, one of these bags of raisins. And by the time I had uh, two uh, tablespoons a day in my oatmeal, uh, I went through almost a bag or I cooked with it. Anyway, I couldn't find it. So I was glad I bought this today. So if you have raisins, you're always going to have uh, a little fruit. You can bake it down into jam 
a one quarter cup oatmeal, one quarter cup powdered milk, one quarter cup half nuts, half raisins. I like walnuts or pecans for that and one and a half cups milk and then just cook that on top of the stove and it gives you a nice big, um, you know, amount of food. So you're not gonna go hungry and if you eat that in the morning, you're not going to be dying of starvation. So then for lunch, I bought Markdown Hamburger Buns. You saw $1.15 for eight at uh, Ralph's. And I toasted those in the oven and I, t and I added a piece of cheese, you know, to melt it, kind of like a grilled cheese. Then I had two egg whites and two slices of bacon bits. So I mixed the egg whites, I put those, I melted some butter, I put the egg whites, I put salt, pepper, and bacon bits, and then that was a good meal. So that is why I am not um, eating right now. I might eat some small meal. I have a uh, frozen food. Okay, and then I want to mention the almond milk. I had about a cup of these slivered almonds. And so I just ground them like crazy in the blender. And then I, I had four cups water and I added about a cup of water after I had ground the almonds. I did the same thing with cashews. But the cashews, I had about three quarter cups um, cashews and three cups water. Same way I put about a cup in and I ground and ground and ground and so I was, and then I added the water little by little. So for a cup, it was about four cups of water. And I just ground it until, you know, it was milk. Now this is pretty good, you guys. All right. And then I gave you the smoothie. Okay, now, so you stockpile that. Then add eggs, two cartons, depends how many eggs I eat. Because I'm eating the egg whites, I eat about one carton eggs per week. Uh, four loaves bread, try to get them marked down. And then they're saying watch out for fresh vegetables. But what I would do is I would get uh, lettuce, carrots, potatoes, and uh, tomatoes so i took the tomatoes out where did i put those well the large cans of tomatoes in their own juice i took one out i don't know what i did with it oh here it is and this one has like tomato juice that you could drink that if you wanted to or you could add a little ketchup. Uh, I heard uh, these stories about people with no um, no ketchup. You know, ketchup is not that hard to make. Just add a little uh, salt, pepper, and sugar. Okay, and then um, Crisco. I think for storage, I think your Crisco for like, you're going long periods of time, I think your Crisco is gonna go further. So uh, let me give you a shot of this page before we go on to the next one. The most important thing aside from uh, conserving all your money is to stockpile food and find these cheaper uh, alternatives like the nut milks. So you might be thinking, I don't want to drink uh, nut milk. Well, then you can just, you need some nuts and you need some fish. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about EBT. You can apply online if you don't want to like go in person. Uh, you can call if you need assistance, there's a call, or you can just go to the welfare department and they'll help you apply. And then there's the food pantries, banks, and churches. We have those here every single day during the uh, Monday through Saturday. I don't think any on Sunday. Okay, so now um, I want to talk to you about, um, I'm still on a uh, story. One of the things they're predicting, okay, corned beef. So this is like, you know, four weeks, one a week. Ham and roast beef. I think the best thing on these, because these aren't the cheapest, is just pick up one every now and then. 
but they're saying watch out because we might have a spike. It's in all basic foods. They're saying watch out. Uh, we might have a spike. So we have our meat. And then if you can come up with four cans of sardines and then you have your rice and you make sticky rice, you're going to have, I bought these one time, uh, three cans for $1.99. I don't eat sardines often but i know they're in there and then if you can afford it a can of cashews because those are going to give you the best milk uh three quarters cup to uh three cups milk and by the time you whip it up it makes about four cups okay so uh that the thing about that is like to ensure that you don't run out of food. You know, it could happen if you start getting broke. If the, if the cost of living, uh, I think it's going to keep going up. Okay, now I want to talk to you about what I bought today to ensure that I have food in my house. So the first thing I bought, I went to grocery outlet. I did... Uh, I did uh, two packages of bacon. Okay, the reason that is good is because it's only two, uh, let's see how many servings is this? Is this a pound? I try to get a pound. Oh, this is only 12 ounces for $5. It is uh, one slice, so there's 12 slices. So that's about six pieces of bacon. It's better to get a pound, but I thought this is a good deal. I'm going to take it. And then I got the bag of raisins because that is a lot of fruit. I don't know what I did with the bag. Oh, here they are. $5.99. I bought uh, one yogurt for $0.79 cents so that I can make uh, yogurt. I could make yogurt out of my uh, plant milk if I didn't have... Um, if I didn't, I might do that just to show you guys. So you're going to have this nice yogurt in the refrigerator that you can just eat. Okay, then I bought eggs for $3.99 because these were pretty good quality eggs. So I bought two packages of bacon, a bag of raisins, one yogurt for $0.79. Cents and a carton of yolk of eggs for $3.99. That was $20.90 and I saved $17. So you're saving $10 here. You're saving $10 there. You know, um, also I think that I pretty much showed you all real food. Uh, there was like a scare on the uh, trail mix. It was granola bars. So, um, there was a contamination of the oatmeal. No fake food. And, uh, it was peanut, dairy, peanut butter, and eggs. Okay, so, uh, what we're preparing for, aside from the fact that we don't know what's going to happen, I think the major thing that could happen would be a grid down, in which case you need water. And then uh, the main thing you want to make sure that you have, you can get by on one, one meal a day, a sandwich with a small fruit or a small vegetable and a glass of milk would be great or a can of Coke or a glass of tea. You can survive on a sandwich and survive pretty well. Yeah, you'll be hungry. I want to mention this going without thing. Okay, go without everything. Don't buy uh, anything except for food. You don't really want to be going without food, especially when you can. I have known people that I tried to help. They didn't have cars, but in this town, like from here, I'm on the outskirts of town, but I could walk. I could take a bus and I could and I would 
Um, I showed you the food. Um, I won't need food. I won't need any food from the food pantry. Uh, one of the things they're uh, saying is uh, fresh fruit and vegetables could become scarce. So I showed you guys all the food I got at the food pantry. Uh, I didn't know they were going to give us that much food. I had no, I was kind of really surprised. So if you find a good pantry, you're not, you're not going to starve. You're going to have plenty of food. In fact, um, I noticed on some of the channels that I watch, they go to uh, two, two food places. But in, at the one I went, there was plenty of food for um, one person to last for longer than a week, actually. Okay, you guys. And they were super nice, too. Okay, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.